Hey peeps, what's up Munchie here, back with another video and if you just got in your hands on the Pixel 8 or the Pixel 8 Pro, this one looks super cool, the bay color is like hot but what are the first things you should do, that is what we're going to cover in this video so without any further delay let us get down to business. First thing I recommend you do is check for a system update, so if you go into settings, system, system update, make sure you're connected to the internet, you should have Wi-Fi or mobile data you should have a security update available because out of the box the pixel 8 pro is running the september security patch but there is an ota update available with the october security patch for android 14. now once you've downloaded the latest ota update on the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro open the camera application you're going to get a notification that an update is available for the camera this is because out of the box the google camera version on the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro is version 9.0.115 however there is an update available tap on that make sure you're signed into your google account and we are going to update this version now once the update has installed successfully all you have to do is tap to restart and install and there it is the latest version of google camera is being installed on the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro and those of you who have the pixel 8 pro if you're not seeing pro controls after you update to the latest version you should be able to see the latest pro controls for the pixel 8 pro and if i go into application info here it is the version now has changed to 9.1.098 and then if you want to access your pro mode tap on this settings icon on the bottom left or you can always swipe up in your viewfinder bam here it is pro mode in the building change the resolution to 50 megapixel to take 50 megapixel pictures from your pixel 8 pro and once you've updated the camera application made sure you're getting the pro controls you can also go to the google play store and then tap on your name or your picture on the top right and then go into manage apps and device go into updates available and update all the applications for which you have an update available from the play store for the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro next up did you know that as soon as you purchase a google pixel you are automatically enrolled into an arbitration agreement between you and google wherein if there's a class action lawsuit due to some issues with your google pixel you cannot be part of that class action lawsuit you actually have to explicitly opt out of this arbitration agreement with google i personally do it all the time how do you do that we have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of the video and do note you have to do this within the first 30 days of purchasing your new google pixel 8 or the google pixel 8 pro Next up with so much screen real estate, I'm not sure why the grid size here is 4x4. We're going to change that. So you press and hold on the empty space on your home screen. You go into wallpapers and style. Go into app grid. Sorry, it's 4x5 out of the box, but we're going to change this to 5x5. Five five. That is going to give us some more screen real estate. That looks much, much better. And then again, I'm not sure why they do not have a shortcut for settings on my home screen. So let us open the application drawer and then we can bring this over to our home screen so that we have a shortcut for settings right from our home screen. I don't want to swipe down twice from my quick settings panel just to access the settings. So next up with all the buzz around ai and generative ai you now have ai on your pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro to create wallpapers so press and hold on the empty space on your home screen go into wallpapers and style more wallpapers ai wallpaper and then let us say you choose a category dreamscapes you can change castle to some things which ai picked for you let us say we want a lighthouse made of say flannel and the colors we want are yellow and teal and we're going to say create a live wallpaper i agree on the terms and conditions wait for google's ai magic to work on the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro and bam here it is this is an ai wallpaper looks pretty dope however you have a bunch more as well because you have these small dots on the bottom they are telling you hey i have more options for you and let us say we want to use this one tap on the check mark on the top right say set wallpaper do you want it on your home screen or home and lock screen let us say we want it on our home screen and lock screen and bam here it is you are now using an ai wallpaper which you created on your pixel 8 or the pixel 8 pro the next thing I recommend you do with your Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro is to turn off the keypad tones and also when you select any option it makes this noise or sound. 
that one i find it pretty irritating so we can go into settings sound and vibration we're going to scroll down and we're going to turn off dial pad tones screen locking sound charging sounds and vibration tap and click sounds super irritating and one thing which we need to enable over here is always show icon when in vibrate mode so now if your phone is in vibrate mode you are going to see a icon in your status bar which i think should have been enabled out of the box and while we are in sound and vibration settings a pro tip is that with android 14 you can have different volume levels for your ringtones and your notifications the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change our phone's name so if you are transferring data to someone using bluetooth they're trying to figure out your device and they search for bluetooth devices nearby your phone is going to show up as the pixel 8 pro we don't want that so we'll go into settings we'll go into about phone we'll go into device name and you can give it any name which you want to i will give it the name munchies pixel 8 pro and then i'm going to select ok and we're going to say ok one more time bam here it is now if somebody is searching for my device via bluetooth it's going to show up as munchies pixel 8 pro then if you miss the notification led on your pixel 8 or the pixel 8 pro with android 14 you have a new feature called flash notifications so you can go into settings notifications here and you will see something called flash notifications so you can enable camera flash so now once i have enabled that if i get a notification yes the camera flash on my pixel 8 pro is going to light up if my phone is screen down on the table but if you keep your phone screen up on the table you can also enable the screen flash and then you can customize the color and here is a preview of screen flash for notifications and while we are talking about notifications another thing i want you to enable in your notification settings is notification history because there will be times when you get a notification from an app and you dismiss it by mistake will if you have your notification history enabled you can always come back over here and check out your notification history next up it is 2023 we are all about numbers benchmark scores tests and everything battery charging speeds why on earth do we still have the battery icon why do not we have the percentage enabled out of the box so we'll go into settings we'll go into battery and we are going to enable battery percentage i think at this point google should get rid of the battery icon altogether and while we are in the battery settings if you have multiple google pixel devices like say the pixel buds pro the pixel watch the pixel watch 2 and you want to know their battery percentage you can always add a battery widget to your home screen and this is going to show you the battery percentage of your device your pixel buds pro your pixel watch as well then did you know that your pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro had a feature called clear calling wherein if you're in a noisy place and you're talking to somebody it will work as noise cancellation and your voice will be given preference you do have to enable it explicitly by going into settings sound and vibration scroll down you will see the option of clear calling go ahead and enable this toggle and do note to protect your privacy clear calling does not send audio or conversations to google and another important thing to note over here is that it is going to work on wi-fi calling and most networks it is not available for 3g networks next up let us jump over to the display settings on the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro and make a few changes over there so for starters go into screen timeout choose a realistic time over here don't choose something like 5 minutes 10 minutes or 30 minutes i recommend 30 seconds then if you read a lot on your device then you should enable screen attention because this is going to prevent your screen from turning off if you are looking at it next up if you want to use a screen protector on your pixel 8 pro or the pixel 8 make sure you do enable screen protector mode and then register your fingerprint once again so that you get the best performance out of the under display fingerprint scanner on the pixel 8 and the pixel 8 pro also for the pixel 8 pro only screen resolution out of the box is set to high if you want the best resolution set it to full so that you're getting the best quality out of the display on your google pixel 8 pro and then if you watch a lot of media content youtube videos on your pixel 8 or the pixel 8 pro also enable auto rotate screen i am not sure why it is disabled out of the box and if you tap on auto rotate screen you also have a toggle for face detection so face detection is going to use the front camera to improve auto rotate accuracy images are never stored or sent to google so enable this option as well 
Next up, it is time to talk about some lock screen customization for your Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro. So press and hold on the MD space on your home screen, go into wallpapers and style. You will see two options. Select lock screen on the top and bam, here it is. You can now choose from a bunch of lock screen clock options. This one here is my personal favorite. And then you can also change the colors so these here are the material you colors however if you do not like any of them you can tap on other colors and choose a solid color as well along with a combination of two colors and once you're happy with the results all you have to do is go back there are a bunch of other customization options on this screen for your lock screen you can also customize your lock screen shortcuts so you can customize the left shortcut and you can also customize the right shortcut and if you go into more lock screen options, you can actually add a custom text to your lock screen, which could be an emergency contact information if you want to, or it could just be your name. Then if you have smart devices and you want to control them from your lock screen of the Pixel 8 or the Pixel 8 Pro, enable this toggle of use device controls and that will let you control your smart home devices, the Google Nest, your Nest cams from the lock screen of the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro. Then if you are a fan of always on display, feel free to enable always show time and info and bam, here it is. You can see that this here is always on display working like a boss on the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro. Then the next thing we're going to change on our Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro as soon as we take it out of the box is the default behavior of the power button. So here it is, if I press and hold the power button, Google Assistant is being activated. If you want to disable that, what do you do? You go into settings, you go into system, you go into gestures, you go into press and hold power button. It is set for digital assistant, change this to power menu. And now if I press and hold the power button, I am getting the power menu instead of the Google Assistant. Now do not if you're using gestures you can always enable the swipe from the bottom edges to invoke your assistant so for that you can go into settings and then we will go into navigation mode go into the settings for gesture navigation and enable the toggle of swipe to invoke assistant and now if i swipe from the bottom right edge or the bottom left edge i can actually invoke the google assistant without having to press the power button and use the power button for invoking the power menu and while we are talking about gestures, did you know that you could actually double tap on the back of the Pixel 8 or the Pixel 8 Pro to perform custom actions? All you have to do is go into settings, then you will go into system, then you will go into gestures, quick tap to start actions, enable this and you can take a screenshot, access your digital assistant, play or pause media. And you can also open any application which you want to by double tapping on the back of the Pixel 8 or the Pixel 8 Pro. This feature is known as quick tap. The next thing I recommend you do is when you set up a pin for your Pixel 8 or the Pixel 8 Pro. So we'll go into settings, security and privacy, device unlock, screen lock, let us set a pin. Herein, make sure you are using not four, but six digits. Why are we using six digits? Because as soon as you start using a minimum of six digits, you get the option of auto confirm correct pin. What does this mean? Well. This means that as soon as you enter the correct pin, the device is going to automatically unlock. You don't have to explicitly press the enter button. You can just type in the correct pin and bam, there it is. The Pixel 8 Pro was unlocked as soon as the correct pin was entered. Then did you actually know that on the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro, the front camera for face unlock is for class three biometrics. What does that mean? That means you can actually use face unlock on the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro to make payments via apps, which was not possible on the Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7 Pro. Another pro tip over here is that once you've set up your face unlock, go into the settings for face unlock and make sure you have enabled require eyes to be open because you do not want your Pixel 8 or the Pixel 8 to be unlocked while you're sleeping. Then you can also enable skip lock screen. This means that as soon as it detects your face, the phone is going to unlock automatically and take you to the home screen instead of you swiping up from the lock screen to access the home screen. And then if you're using face unlock in applications and you want to use the extra step of confirmation, then you can always enable always require confirmation. So this is going to require an extra confirmation step when you're using face unlock in applications.
and while we're talking about security another pro tip is if you go into settings security and privacy go into more security and privacy scroll down you have an option which says confirm sim deletion so make sure you enable this toggle because you do not want anybody and everybody who's using your phone to be able to erase your eSIM. Only you should be able to do it. Next thing I recommend you do as soon as you take the Pixel 8 or the Pixel 8 Pro out of the box is to customize your quick settings panel. So this is how it looks out of the box. But if you tap on this pencil icon on the bottom right, there are a bunch of other quick setting tiles which are available. All you need to do is press and hold and then drag and drop them to wherever you want to and bam, here it is. This is my location shortcut which is now available in my quick settings panel. Then we're going to make some quality of life changes for the camera application. Even though the camera app on the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro deserves its own dedicated video. But for now, if you open the camera, go to the viewfinder, swipe up and go into more settings. Here and I do recommend you disable camera sounds and then go ahead and enable save selfie as previewed because you do not want your right hand to be appearing as the left hand and the left hand appearing as the right hand and the selfies you take from the Pixel 8 and the Pixel 8 Pro. And there it is peeps. That was our list of the first things to do as soon as you take out the Pixel 8 or the Pixel 8 Pro out of the box. If you have a pro tip, if you have a tip and trick, if you have a thing which we have missed and you want the world to know about it, make sure to leave it in the comments on this video.